SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. It's week three of the NFL on EA Sports. The final week into the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Chargers. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. Leading them out their two-time Pro Bowl quarterback in his fourth season now from Clemson, Deshaun Watson. Before the game, when I said hello to him, I tried to give him a little dap, but he wouldn't give me any, and I thought he was snubbing me. Then I realized he's keeping all that flame to himself. How about the week he had last week, AFC Offensive Player of the Week? And they'll come out with a three-tight end look on the first play of the drive. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Mostert. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. The game's first play produces six yards. Brings up second down. A six yard. The numbers for him from a week ago. 14 carries, 98 yards, and a score. And they love what they've got in him. He's the number four rusher in the league right now, so you know that you have to account for him on defense, which means you can play complimentary football as well. Throw the play action, get it out to the wide receivers, because they should have some open space because the defense will key in. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. And early on, they're picking up right where they left off last week. And I know a lot of coaches say each game is its own. You don't really have carryover. This feels like carryover. So much confidence from the previous game that they're using to their advantage now. Flushed out right. That's caught by his running back, Raheem Mostert. A lot of work to get away and outside of the pocket, but no actual yardage there on the catch. It's second down. Back to throw, Watson, caught by the tight end, Ertz. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Most are the first down carry. This will wind up only getting him a couple. That'll bring up second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. And one. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. That's coming and down he goes. The defensive end, Daniil Hunter, drops him. And Charles, part of the reason they lost last week, they didn't have a single sack. Well, they changed that quickly. But did they ever? And it was something they talked about with us extensively. They needed to get pressure. How are they going to get to the quarterback? Obviously, they schemed themselves into a great play, didn't they? And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. There is nothing. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. So here are the Panthers under head coach Matt Rule. And leading them out, their quarterback in his seventh season in the NFL, it's Derek Carr. And frankly, this is the type of game that a great quarterback relishes because 0-2, on the road, everything's against him and his team. No one can expect them to win. Sometimes you band together real tight in that situation. And if he plays really well, they've got a chance to get that done. The, 32 the numbers on the ground for Jones last week. 13 carries, 74 yards. He's having a nice season, and he knows where he ranks in the league. Don't ever let a running back tell you that they don't know that. They do. So what he's doing now is lobbying the offensive coordinator all week long. Hey, how about a few more touches? He's one big game away from maybe leading the league. 
So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and then hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. The Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. Davis. It's a gain of four, and it's third down. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Taken down at the 33-yard line. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Panthers nothing. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now they'll throw with Carr. And his throw is incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Back to the air on second down. It's Carr setting up the screen here. Aaron Jones. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And Robinson with a big catch. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Defense was expecting run, and they're dealt a pass of over 15 yards. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Brings up second and goal. Car to throw again. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. To number Allen Robinson, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Panthers have taken the lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch, and the... Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. First and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. There's Moster. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And that'll be incomplete. The Pro 
mobile wideout Devontae Adams, his intended receiver. And now it's third down. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Excellent play there on third down. Give them 25 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, he's going to make a play for me. I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. First and Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. They get ten more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. First and goal at the five-yard line. Here's Mostert. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Daniil Hunter on the stop. Well, he did get a taste the previous week. He got into the end zone, trying his best to get there in this game. So far, he's been denied. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Watson going to try and run it. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss, and now it's third down. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Now Watson on third and goal. Dancing to his left, and he's in for a Charger touchdown. Deshaun Watson with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Chargers are going to retake the lead. They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes. Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tummy. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Throwing on first down, it's caught. Thrown to Parker, complete on the slant. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Second and a yard at the 50-yard line. From midfield, here's Carr. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 39. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. More from L.A. in a moment. Carr now on first down. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Parker. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Panthers. Now, Carr again. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 
Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Again, it's Carr. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Parker, the intended target, but it'll be second down. Brings up second and 10. To throw again. Carr. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Hunter Henry in the final seconds of the first half. And the Panthers are once again going to retake the lead. And oh, it's blocked. Now the Chargers have it. But he will not be able to bring this one back in the extra point attempt. Unsuccessful. I know it's easy to kind of shrug off a blocked extra point, but this game is shaping up to be a tight one. The second half, this could prove crucial. Yeah, we might look back on this one. We'll have to wait and see. Well, a good looking return set up here. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 32 yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. <laughs> but we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks. And welcome in, everybody, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Time for a look around the NFL in week three, the new year. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. Justin Tucker set to kick off. The Panthers out in front, and they will get the football first. Second half action underway. So here are the Panthers set to take over. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. The second half starts with a carry by Jones. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. Jones, the ball carry. He'll come up now second and four from the 31. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. They'll go again to Jones. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. And we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. On first and ten, here's Carr. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. That sack by the DN, Danico Autry. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. A three-yard gain on the play. Brings up third down. On third and long, it's Carr. Side by Jones. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Aaron Jones. A gain of 19 yards. And I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else. And they're going to the running back out of the backfield. And he picks up a back-breaking first down. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? 
has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Carr completes it, and he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 21. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Now a first down carry by Jones. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. From the 17, Carr. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Casey Hayward. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. After the interception, here's Watson. Eluding the pressure right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Back to the air. Watson on second down. Catch made. It's Moreau. Watson's pass. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Throwing on third down. Watson. Flush to his right. And Adams has it. Complete. Take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big game that time for the Chargers. 32 yards. First and 10 at the 46. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Inside the 35. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, to watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. But that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try and pass downfield that fell incomplete. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him. And they get upfield, get that great push. And what do they create? Space. And he takes off. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're going to be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Tucker with the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Justin Tucker set to kick off. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. The Panthers take over first and ten. 
at their own 25-yard line. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. He'll look to throw on the crossing route complete. That's Parker. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 36 yards. 36 yards on the play. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Shotgun now for Carr. Henry's got it out on the left side. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. First Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. See type of a throw? I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. On first down, Carr. And his throw here is incomplete. Devontae Parker was the intended receiver. And it's second down. Incomplete. It's now second and 10 at the 25. Throwing again. Carr. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Damon Harrison bringing in 341 pounds of power for the sack. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Throwing on third and long. Carr. And he's going to go down again. Danico Autry able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. But this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. So here are the Chargers to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and 10. <laughs> to throw is Watson. Escaping the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. And he takes us beyond the 34 before going out of bounds. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. Coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Off of play action, it's Watson. Forced out to his left. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Buying time to his left. And he connects with Ertz. He'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Rolling to his right. But he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. 
I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, oh, I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. Personal foul at this stage in the fourth. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe. And now that glow of hope that you have begins to flicker out, doesn't it? Yeah. Being chased out left. That is incomplete, but a penalty flag is down. This could possibly be a push off. Completion that could have been an interception. Steps away to his left. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. You can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. And he's got it up and through. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. Justin Tucker set to kick off. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. So Derek Carr in the offense, down by 11, a minute 14 to go. And they're in danger of a third straight loss as they come up on first and 10. So he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver. And it's third down. It's third down. And 10 yards. From the gun, it's Carr. And Robinson with a big catch. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Carr. And over the middle, this is Parker. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Carr signaling to his guys, let's go, let's go here. Now a desperation throw deep. And this is caught inside the five. Cars pass. And he just oh, falls two. short down at the one-yard line. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Car to throw again. And this is caught. So it's a late touchdown, but maybe too late. Still a little time left on the clock, however. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high-percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Their line set to kick off. And this is going to be taken in by the Chargers, and it appears they're going to win this football game. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And 
I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Down to an egos Watson, and that should just about do it for this ball game. Today's final score. Well, as always, partner, an extreme pleasure to share a booth with you. I, I have to say, I am impressed at your discipline.